Ibos, why do you play the politics of hate? Best way to honor this great young man is the release of Namdekan. If I need tribute today, Rosa Sokrocha begs God's will at Babiu on the release of Namdekan. What happens when one of the Nigerian most influential figures is celebrated in a gathering that transcends politics, business, and culture? The answer lies in the tribute night of Senator Fanyoba, where a simple but powerful plea by Rocha Sokrocha to Senate President Kostwi Lapabiu left the room in stunned silence and applause. This is not just about a tribute, it's a story of legacy, regional unity, and a call for peace in the Southeast. Stay tuned as we unravel the emotional speeches the untold highlight and the impact of Ifan Yoba's legacy on Nigerians and beyond. And before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe for more support on this channel. The Grand Farewell begins on November 14, 2024. Nigerians across the globe gathered in Harbour Point, Victoria Island, Lagos, for the service of songs and nights of tribute for the late Senator Ifan Yoba. It was a convergence of leaders, moguls, and every Nigerian who came to celebrate a man whose influence cut across business, politics, and philanthropy. If any you brimmed with emotions as people shared stories of how Ivan Yoba touched their life in one way or the other, from his groundbreaking innovation in politics to the countless lives transformed by his capital oil and gas empire. He was remembered as a man who came, saw, and conquered. Among many speeches, one stood out. Senator Rocha Sokrata took the stage not to talk too much, but to make heart first plea to Senate President Gosfi Lopabio. Okorocha called for immediate release of Nnamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. He emphasized that releasing Kanu could foster lasting peace in the Southeast. The audience erupted in applause, a clear sign that Okorocha's words resonate deeply. I want to say to you, my brother, Senior President, convey this one message on behalf of these people who are sitting, that the best way to honor this great young man is the release of Namdekan. It was not just a tribute to Ifanu, it was a call for healing and reconciliation in region yearning for stability. The ripple effect of Okorocha's plea reached social media, with Kubana chief priest posting a clip of his speech on Instagram. His caption said, Those plea from Owele Ndibo is all we ask for. Let Ohamadike Ndibo, Mazim Nambikano, come back home soon. It's almost five years now and we have not had access to our hometown. Only his release can restore peace back in our region. We have lost much lives and properties. We need to rebuild Southeast ASAP. Please help us. The statement coupled with the video reignites conversations about the Southeast plight, Ifanyoba's legacy and the need for reconciliation. No doubt this was a night of unity and reflection. The tribute wasn't just about speeches. It was gathering of Nigerians cream da cream, from Ogun State Governor Dapo Abiodun to business mogul like Chief Clement Ibeto and Cosmos Madoka. Each dignity paid homage to Ifan Yoba, a man whose legacy continues to inspire. They celebrated his business acumen, his political innovation and philanthropy. Whether through a job creation or championship of Igbo unity, Ifan Yoba left an indelible mark. His burial is scheduled for November 22nd in Anambra State, a ceremony expected to draw ever large crowds. For many, it's not just about laying him to rest, it's a moment to reflect on the values he stood for and the urgent need to resolve the challenges facing the Southeast. I must say, Ifan Yoba's tribute night wasn't just a celebration of his life. It was a moment that reignited conversation about peace, justice, and legacy in Nigeria. From Okorocha's plea to Nam Dikano's release to the heartfelt words of dignitaries, the night was a powerful reminder of impact one man can have on countless lives. So guys, what's your take about Rocha's Okorocha's plea on the release of Nam Dikano? Do you think it will spark a change needed for peace in Southeast? Let's discuss on the comment below. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more updates on Ifan Yuba's barrier and other stories shaping Nigerians today. Together, let's keep the conversation alive. Bye for now.